going on everyone got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing boy erased boy erased is about the son of a baptist preacher who is forced to participate in a church supported gay conversion program after being forcibly outed to his parents now this is a biography this is based on a true story it's very much drama and it's directed by joel egerton the man who did the gift which i i'm a big fan of joel egerton i think he's one of the most underrated actors in hollywood today and he did such a phenomenal job with the gift i was looking forward to whatever the guy was going to direct and write next this is obviously his sophomore outing and man it, it, it's brilliant i i fell in this film to capture so many different lights and levels and what I think this film did so well is that it is very much based on this true story it's telling this story and it's very much this drama but the film is also an informative piece about this issue that's going on that the fact that this gay conversion centers are real and they're still a thing of today and that they're still legal in I think 23 or even more than that state that is ludicrous to me I'm pretty maybe it's even 32 I'm, I'm not 100% sure but it makes you want to dive in after watching this film and look into more of the subject matter and what's going on after seeing what this character and what this person dealt with. Lucas Hedges does play the main kid in here, and he is so good. I mean, Lucas Hedges, when he showed up back in Manchester by the Sea, that film blew me away, and he was the big standout for me personally in that film. And again, I think Lucas Hedges adds another film to his resume of being a fantastic actor. He's a young up-and-comer, but he has so much emotion to show. There's a scene in here where he is being outed to his parents. We, he has to tell his parents, his parents who are big Christian parents, he has to tell them that he's gay. And it is one of the most emotional scenes in the whole entire film. And one of the biggest reasons that it's so emotional is just how all the actors and actresses play it off. You look at Lucas Hedges, how he plays it off. But might I say Russell Crowe, who plays the Baptist preacher, who plays his father in this film. I gotta say, I think this is Russell Crowe's best performance of his career. And I've seen a lot of Crowe performances, don't get me wrong. I know he's one of the best actors working today, but my God, he is so phenomenal in this movie. It blew me out of the water how damn good Russell Crowe was in this movie and how he just emphasized. I always say this is that actors can speak. They can do monologues. They can do all that stuff. They can lose weight. They can do this. But a lot of emotion can come from their eyes. And I do say that Russell Crowe, a lot of his emotions are within his eyes, not just within the monologues and the way that he speaks, but he became this Baptist preacher. I never saw Russell Crowe in this role. I saw the man who he was portraying. Nicole Kidman is a knockout star in this film. She is always so good. In the last few years, she's been finding her niche in these supporting roles, and she is so damn transformative also in here. I think her and Crowe really steal the whole show, and overall, all the performances are great. Egerton also stars in the film as one of the Conversion Center therapists, and he has a very interesting past. And the thing that I loved about Boy Race is that it tackles everyone's point of views on this thing it tackles everyone's central morals and that not everyone's perfect everyone has issues that's going on within their own lives the parents do lucas hedges's characters doesn't even the therapist that joel egerton plays has his own issues too and it's just cool to see all the different elements of each character where in a sense this film could have came off really one noted for a lot of the characters it doesn't it's subtle manners or even looks and you get these from the other kids that are in the conversion center one of the most brilliant parts about boy erase though is the way that joel egerton directed this film he obviously we saw his style of directing in the gift and it was very tension filled it was thriller -esque. it had a horror tone to it but it really much was a thriller at the heart of it the thing about Boy Erased, though, is yeah, you expect the true story, yeah, you expect the drama, and you expect that, yeah, it's going to have some informative pieces in there, but Edgar Tin directs this film with so much tension filled in it. There's so many thrilling moments in here. There's a couple moments where Hedges' character is at a college campus and getting to know some of the kids there, and there's one moment in particular that I don't want to spoil, but... I was gripping my knuckles, just going, I know where this is going to go, and man, Egerton knows how to linger on that camera and how to linger on a shot so well where it doesn't feel like it's overly drafted and overly too long, but just perfectly subtle to where it fits and it's getting what is going right. And it makes you feel cringy. It makes you feel uneasy, but that's what the gift did. And I think Boy Race does the same thing. It does that with a lot of the parents. It does that with the therapist. It does that with the conversion center. And one thing I'm so appreciative that when he was writing this film, he didn't make the parents be out to be a villain. They are having their own moral issues. They don't understand this. And seeing their character arc as the story progresses 
progresses is so wonderful and going from Hedges' character to you understand his moral struggles and even with the therapist who at times yes is one note he pretty much is the agonist of the whole entire film you get to know him a little bit especially uh, some of the montage things that towards the end you get to know a little bit even more of him and that's where I like this film I think Boy Erased is a brilliant informative true story drama that is such a needed film that needs to be seen and there th the fact that this these convergence centers aren't more on the news is utterly insane to me but this is a film that needs to be watched it needs to be seen it carries some of the best performances of the year and i wholeheartedly hope this film does not get trampled under all the other oscar films coming out it needs to be pushed for cons though i will say this um some of the song choices were a little bit too cheesy a little bit too cheesy but I thought the score was brilliant in a lot of parts and the film does drag in some moments but I thought the dragging needed to be there to get you invested and it got me invested in the story a little bit too, one too many flashback moments but those are really just nitpicks I, I I wholeheartedly recommend Boy Erased it's easily one of the best films of this year so with all that said I'm gonna give Boy Erased an A- minus. Hey guys, what are you guys' thoughts on Boy Race? Have you heard of this true story? Have you read the book? Have you seen this movie? Let's talk about it down below in the comments because that's what we're here for. We're here to talk movies. We're here to interact and have just a lively discussion down below in the comments. Tell me what your guys' thoughts are. And of course, guys, if you guys are new here, consider hitting that like button and even consider subscribing so you guys never miss out on a movie review. Plus, if you guys want to check out some movies early, hit up Sandwich on Films also because right down there, again, you guys can go see movies early and check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy. We'll